Hi, my name's Helen. We want to help save the bees, butterflies and hoverflies that bring the wealth of colour to your garden in the spring and summer. Our project would create a list of the top 100 garden plants for pollinators based on the amount of pollen and nectar they contain. Then, if we meet our stretch goals, we want to create a really cool app that will help gardeners to transform their gardens into pollinator paradise, a perfect one-stop catering service. Pollinators are hugely important insects. They're crucial for the production of many of our foods, especially our fruit and vegetables. We want to create materials that will help gardeners know what to plant so we can boost populations of these massively important insects. We already have data on where pollinators are found in urban areas, habitats such as allotments, parks, gardens and road verges. We know which species are found in which habitats and we know which flowers they like to visit. We also have the pollen and nectar data for the 200 most abundant plants in the UK. But a lot of urban areas contain non-native plant species such as red hot pokers from South Africa, penstemons from America and Mediterranean lavenders. We're asking for your help to raise the £40,000 needed to complete this project. So thank you for your support. We're offering a series of great rewards that you can see below. We'll send you a series of video updates. And we'll even give you a tour of the Bristol Botanical Gardens where we're now standing. We're also going to offer you one of these limited edition crochet bees. We know that gardeners want to help pollinators. And we know that there's lists out there already. But none of these lists are actually based on scientific data. Our project's hugely important to allow us to make recommendations to gardeners based on real scientific data rather than just best guesses. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Sorry, there's a honeybee. Uh, uh, right, <laughs> right in my ear. And that's a female, because I can see the pollen basket on her leg. Yeah, the special structures on the leg where they collect all the pollen.